This is Eugene and Rutkiewicz from the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba P745 laptop, Toshiba Satellite P745 laptop, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on this laptop. Uh, before we get started with this or any other type of laptop, we want to disconnect all power to the laptop and the way we do that is we remove the battery on the bottom. So there's two levers on the bottom on either side of the batteries. We slide both levers outwards and then we slide the battery out and it comes out. Once we remove the battery from the laptop it's safe to work on. Just like any other laptop in order to get to the screen, you have to remove the screen bezel. This is the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you have to remove two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom, and they're hiding behind some plastic covers, which we also have to remove. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you the tools we're going to need to do this job. Uh, we need some electronics screwdrivers. Uh, first one is a PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. This is the one we're going to use most of the time, if not all the time. We also have a smaller PH00 screwdriver to get to smaller screws. And also, just in case, we have a 2mm flathead screwdriver and these are useful to remove screws that are at an angle from the screwdriver. Okay, uh, we have a pair of metal tweezers, and those are used to remove any screws that are stuck, and an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife with a sharp pointed blade to remove the screw covers. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the plastic screw covers with our X-Acto knife, like so, and what to do is put them right next to the screw openings, so I don't lose them. So we have four of those and we go one by one and remove all four and this one is giving me a little bit of trouble but we can get it okay and the fourth one almost there like so once we do that, we take our PH1 screwdriver and start removing the screen bezel screws. And what I like to do with each set of screws for each step is keep them in their own pile on the side of the laptop. And when I go to the next step, I start a new pile and I keep the piles in order in which I remove the screws and this helps me keep track of which screws go where when I'm assembling the laptop again. Okay, so once we did that, we're going to remove the screen bezel and we snap it off and the way I like to do that is lift up on the screen side with my fingertips and lift it up and pull outwards towards me and listen for snapping sounds and just work my way around the laptop like so. This one's fairly easy. Sometimes it's a little bit harder and you just if you get stuck at a place just go to a different place and open it up and come back to the place where you're stuck at. So keep going around. Same thing on the bottom like so and the screen bezel is removed. Uh, this one was unusually easy to remove. Usually it's a little bit harder, so take your time on this step. Okay, now that the screen, we have access to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen from the metal mounting brackets on the screen assembly. And the way we do that is that the screws are mounted, the screen is mounted with screws on the side to the metal mounting brackets. So we have to get to these screws. And in order to do that, we have to tilt the screen a little bit forward from the rest of the screen assembly. And sometimes there's not enough give to do that, so I have a little trick for that. And the trick is I loosen up these two hinges, two screws on each side 
two hinge screws on each side so that the screen can come forward a little bit. And this screw is hiding behind the tape, the metal tape. So I'm going to lift that up. So I'm going to loosen up these screws, like so, two on each side. Just enough so I can tilt the screen forward a little bit, not all the way. And make sure you remember to tighten them once you assemble the laptop. And once I loosen up these screws, that gives me enough access to get to the screws that are holding the screen to the metal mounting brackets. So we start at the bottom and we remove the three screws from each side. And when you do that, make sure your screen is tilted back a little bit so when you remove all the screws, the screen doesn't fall forward on you. So we go one by one and I started a new pile with these screws so that I can keep track of the screws. And same thing on the other side. Keep moving. Two and three, like so. Okay, once we do that, the screen is free and we start tilting the screen forward a little bit, and right away we see that the webcam cable is attached to the back of the screen. It has some adhesive, so we can do one of two things. We can either remove the webcam connector from the webcam, or we can kind of remove the adhesive from the back of the screen. In this case, I think it's better to remove the connector because the adhesive is pretty tight on there. And what I like to do with that is use my X-Acto knife to go in the seam between the two sides of the connection and kind of work it out and remove the webcam connector. Now for Toshiba laptops, the connector is pretty flimsy, so you have to be careful with it not to damage it. And now once we do that, we lift up the webcam cable from the back of the screen, so it's free. And there's only one connector on the back for our LED screen, and we have to remove this connector next. And in order to do that, there's some adhesive on the back of the video cable. We have to lift it up a little bit, like so. And usually there's um, some tape on top. For this one, it's hard to see, but I'm going to find it. There's some tape that we have to lift up. And either use your fingernails or the exacto knife to lift up the tape like so and once the connector is free from the adhesive and the tape we just kind of slide it outward and it's removed and the screen is free now okay before we go any further i'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector because this is the one of the hardest parts of the procedure when you slide the connector back in you'll feel two clicks you won't hear them but you'll feel them with your fingers that means it's engaged and let's take a look at what the connection looks like let's get a good close-up okay pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like this there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection it should be flushed flush like this okay so let's keep moving Let's remove the connector again, and let's take a look at the screen. This is a 14-inch LED screen, um, fairly commonly available. I shouldn't have any trouble finding it. I don't have any trouble focusing it, so let's try to zoom in on the label. Okay, the part number that you're looking for is LTN14A. T07. That's the part number you need when you do your search. OTN 14A T07. And this is for a 14 inch LED screen. And most likely when you get your screen in, the part number will be the same, but the screen will look nearly identical and will be 100% compatible. And uh, we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen. And what you get with us is free email 
technical support when you do the installation. We have a two-year warranty on the parts and labor, and we can ship anywhere in the world. So if you're not in the United States, most likely we can ship the screen to you. Okay, to order from us, go to screensurgeons.com, and when you get there, click buy a screen, then enter your laptop model and your email, and then we'll reply promptly with the link to the right screen to buy the screen online. And also, if you do not have the tools with you to do this job, uh, we sell these tools online also, and you'll see them when you're buying the screen. Okay, and when you do receive your screen, reconnect it as I showed you. Put the screen back on the metal mounting brackets. Make sure after that you tighten these screws on the bottom. Snap the screen bezel back on and put the four screws on the front and you should be done. Okay, and that's it and good luck. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm a laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.